1981 Ford Escort SS. Classic or clunker? Here is the 1981 Ford Escort SS. A neat little car with a neat little story, which I'll get to in a bit. But first, I'll tell a little bit about the history of Ford's global compact cars. After World War II, everyone saw the importance of rebuilding Europe's war-ravaged countries. This meant industrialization and factories, which meant automobile production. These included the German Volkswagen Beetle, the French Simca, Sweden's Volvo, Germany's Opel, Britain was big in the game also, with the Vauxhall, the Morris Minor, among countless others all over Europe. The widest assortment were the British Fords, which included the Zephyr and the Zodiac, both built by Ford of Britain, also Ford of UK's Consul and Anglia models. The Anglia was available in two-door form, as well as an estate model, which, to most of you listening, would be called a station wagon. This model introduced a name that would go on to find wide use through several subsequent generations, the Escort. Through the 50s, these European compacts went from minor sales to modest sales to gaining a foothold in the American market. As far as American manufacturers went, in the 1950s, the sole player was American Motors Corporation, with their Rambler and Metropolitan, shown here. But that was about to change. Throughout the 50s, the big three, Ford, GM, and Chrysler, recognized the success of the imports and the success of the Rambler and developed their own offerings. These were Chevrolet spun off the success of the rear-engine air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle with its Corvair. Chrysler pursued conventional front-engine rear-wheel drive platform with their Lancer and Valiant, and Ford doing the same with their Falcon. All of these models were introduced for the 1960 model year. These cars sold well in the U.S. and were solid performers throughout the 60s as far as sales was concerned. For the new decade of the 1970s, it was time to refresh the lineups. Ford introduced the Pinto, GM the Chevy Vega, Chrysler retained the Dart and the Valiant while adding a Mitsubishi, badged as a Dodge Colt and a Plymouth Cricket. Ford's Escort was still alive and well in Britain. It replaced the Anglia as its own model and was very popular throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. But by the 1980s, it was time for a refresh. The story of the 1980s Ford Escort's redesign begins with this car, the German Ford Fiesta, introduced in 1976. It was sold in the U.S. market from 1978 to 1980. The third generation Ford Escort was scheduled to be its replacement, and it was designed to be a world car. As Ford of Europe's world car, it would be introduced in 1981, picking up where the Fiesta departed at the 1980 model year. The Escort was planned as a world car. However, during the design process, the North American team and the European team went different directions. The American car ended up being larger in every dimension and having more chrome embellishments, whereas the European car was smaller They ended up sharing no interchangeable parts outside of the powertrain. The particular model shown here is the 1981 Ford Escort SS. Being the sport model, it had blacked out trim instead of chrome. 
and tape stripes, sport wheels, a fancy interior, upgraded brakes, and wider tires. Now, here is its story. I bought this car in 2009 in Newton, Kansas. I took the wrong turn down a street and, getting back on course, I turned a corner and happened to see this sitting on the street with a for sale sign. In 2009, this wasn't a particularly collectible car, but it was an interesting car. The first thing that I noticed was the tape stripes and the blacked out trim, which told the story that this car was no ordinary Ford Escort. The SS moniker was a bit puzzling because I had only ever known these as the GT. A little research showed that Ford used this SS moniker only in 1981 because of a bit of friction with GM. They had used the GT name successfully on the Mustangs in the 1960s, so they picked it back up. Great brand continuity. I talked to the seller a bit. I wasn't really over the moon about the car, but I did feel that it needed to be preserved. A car like this otherwise would probably be used, abused, torn up, eventually scrapped, and a piece of significant Ford Motor Company product history would vanish forever. Determined to preserve the car, I made a deal with the seller and drove it home and put it into storage. The car had been sold new around the Denver, Colorado area. The paint was nearly immaculate with just a few chips and no evidence of road salt ever having been near the car. The interior was in great shape and it had dealer installed air conditioning, a relic of this time. With just 100,000 miles on the odometer, it was in great shape and a great candidate to put away for preservation. The car sat in my building for 10 years, waiting. I decided its time had come, so I cleaned up 10 years of items that had accumulated around it, and then it was time to see the light of day again. I made an ad for the car and took calls from all over the U.S. Eventually, it found a buyer in Wisconsin. He held the car for a year or two, but didn't do much with it. Then, it was sold on to a collector in Ohio who currently has it. I've spoken to this collector on the phone, and he is very passionate about the car, very passionate about the uniqueness and the obscurity of it. So, in this hobby, that's really what it's all about. Finding a car that's unappreciated, holding on to it for a little bit, enjoying it, and then sending it on to the hands of someone who loves it. The Ford Escort's first generation in North America continued until 1990. Then, the second generation was built from 1991 to 1996. Truly a world car, because it used Japanese components. Then, 1997 through 2003 was the final generation of Ford's North American Escort. It was replaced by the Ford Focus. The Ford Escort is still around and still a world car. It began production in China in 2015 and in Taiwan in 2017 and remains available to this day. Half a century, three continents, the Ford Escort, still the world's world car.